Hello there, Darren Steen here with version number two of the true 12-week trip to the title. 11 weeks out from my first show in four years, bringing you the truth of supplementation, uh, food, uh, and exercise for the truly drug-free athlete. I'm very excited to bring you version number two. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a tip in each of the three major areas we talked about. Thought you think, the food you eat will include supplementation in there, and the exercise that you get. And I want to tell you my progress this week. I'm so excited. I actually gained two pounds on the scale and lost a quarter inch off my waistline. Something's going on. I'm really looking different, but I want you to comment below. Let me know what you think if I've improved this week. Vince is going to take me through some quarter turns in a little bit, and then you guys can be the judge. All right, the thoughts that you think. If you have a goal, you need to see it in the theater of your mind. I want you to think about what you want before you go to bed and when you, when you wake up. Take two minutes, take some long, slow breaths in, long, slow breaths out. Clear your head, slow everything down. I like to get down on my knees so I'm not laying down because I'll fall asleep. At that point, visualize what you want in your mind. You've got to see the body in your mind before you can actually start to do the work in the gym and in the kitchen because you've got to believe it, and that's how you start to believe it. The reason why at night, before you go to bed, and when you wake up is when you want to goal set and visualize is because you're in alpha wave state and your subconscious will replay it 20 to 30 times while you're sleeping in rapid eye movement and it's like auto suggestion or self-hypnosis. So get your mind right, see what you want, see it and feel the emotion of the sweet joy of having the best body you've ever had. Uh, food. Like Vince said in one of our other videos, eat more to weigh less. I'm eating more and more food. How do you know how much food to eat? You gotta eat every two and a half, three hours. Listen to your hunger level. Your hunger level will tell you if you're eating enough carbohydrates, starchy carbs, and that's the fuel that your engine uses, your muscles. The starchy carbs are the key. Learn what starchy carbs are. Know what amount you need to be able to have uh, enough energy to get through the intense workouts, but not too many so that you store fat. I'm eating in the middle of the night. Two or three o'clock, I'm waking up. I'm having 30 grams of whey protein. A half a cup of uncooked oatmeal, throw water in it, stir it up and drink it. Half a cup of oatmeal is 27 grams of carbs. And I'm getting leaner and leaner and I'm eating seven to eight meals right now. All right, the exercise that you get. Three words, intensity, focus and muscle confusion. Intensity, you gotta go past that point that you ever thought you could go through. You need a training partner. You gotta have someone push you. So intensity, safely is very important. Mind muscle connection, feel. You gotta feel the focus, you gotta feel the squeeze. Don't throw the, the bar from point A to point B. Think about squeezing a light weight and work on your mind-muscle connection. Get your mind and your muscle by looking at the muscle at the muscle, or look in the mirror. It really helps sync up that mind-muscle connection. Last one is muscle confusion. Vince put me through a workout I'd never been through before. Totally out of my comfort zone. I thought it was a silly type of workout if I'd seen someone else in the gym doing it. But I'm telling you what, my body responded. It feels uh, a different type of pump. It was very fatiguing. And I think, you guys can be the judge, but I think my body's growing faster than it's grown in, in five years at the age of 45. So I'm really pumped up about it. There's your tip of the week for the true 12-week trip to the title. Thoughts you think, exercise you get, foods that you eat. Now it's my turn. I'm going to show you what I've been doing. I'm going to have Vince call out the pose. It's really hard, but it's so important. 11 weeks out. You tell me if you think you see improvements from last week, but more importantly, what are my weaknesses? What are my flaws? So that I can be Lane Norton. Vince, who else am I gunning for in the IFPA? Philip Ricardo. Philip Ricardo. Kobayashi. Kobayashi. Uh, didn't he, isn't he the hot dog eating king? That's right. Just kidding. All right. Six pack. I totally respect those guys, but I do want to beat you guys at the age of 46. So here we go. <sighs> Vince, call him out for me. You got it. Give me a little feedback, too, if I, if I need to pick up something. Quarter turn to the right. Good. Quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. All right, let me do this just for my fans. Oh, we're going to hit that, Darren. Let's go through the quarter turns. All right, quarter turn to the right. Quarter turn to the right. Okay, front double bicep. Good. Lat spread. Good, quarter turn to right. 
side chest. Quarter turn to the right. Spiking right calf, rear, double bicep. Spiking left calf, rear lat. Good shot. Relax. Core turn to right. Side tricep. That's good. Core turn to right. All right. Spiking right quad. Hands and leg or quads in the. <laughs> Here we go. Hands overhead, abdominal. Nah, screw that. One. <laughs> screw that one. <laughs> there you go. That's your money shot right there. <sighs> Good tries. Shoulder separation. <sighs> Nasty separation. Good job. Looks so, good, dude. There you go. There's version edit number two of the true 12 week trip to the title IFPA show. There's also a Corona show, the Olympia four weeks after I heard about. Man, I'd love to compete in that as well. So tell me down below, please spread this to your friends who are interested in the true message of bodybuilding, drug free for life. Don't tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, because I got to improve this physique. Until next time. Absolutely, you do have the power to change, make the rest of your life the best of your life.